Welcome to Talking Shit. It's June the 21st, one day after the horrible, horrific uh, incident that took place at a theater in Colorado where both Mitt Romney and President Barack Obama have decided to suspend campaigning in that area and focus on uniting the country. I'm very proud of Mitt Romney for being able to follow uh, that lead or uh, whoever did decided to do it first, I think unilaterally, uh, both of them deciding to suspend campaigning uh, in that area uh, during this horrible, horrible incident. I actually went to a midnight showing of the the Dark uh, Night Rises Batman movie uh, here in California, uh, where I go to movies regularly, and it was a, it was really rowdy and very disorganized, but. There was no, uh, of course, uh, devastating, uh, uh, horrifying uh, thing that took place at where I was. And to hear about it, and then I went and saw the movie again with a larger group of friends uh, last night, and it was very uh, mellow, and you could tell that some people were probably a little frightened. The turnout wasn't that big uh, last night for the movie, and uh, I, I really liked the movie. I thought the movie was very well done. Um, I, I just am saddened by the lack of uh, sympathy for some of the families. And people are saying that, you know, having stiffer gun control laws would not stop a man for, uh, from doing this kind of thing or a woman or whatever. Uh, my thing is that it'll slow their asses down, you know. It's slow, it'll slow it down to the point where maybe we could see some more warning signs before they actually flip, you know, and uh, you know, and show that they have already lost their mind. And I, I really feel that uh, some uh, weapons, I mean, I don't want to deny any American the right to bear arms, but some of the weapons that are being said that, you know, people go and buy these kind, I mean, if somebody is ordering 6,000 rounds on the internet, uh, I think that government should have a red flag or there should be the company who is selling that amount of ammunition to somebody needs to be able to say something about that. You know, there needs to be warning. You know, even when you go buy cold medicine, they lock some of it up because they don't want the meth people to get it. You know, there's got to be some kind of a safeguard for when somebody is getting ready to do something really fucked up. I mean, this guy uh, shot children. I was watching the movie last night, and there's a there's a scene in the movie that is uh, about kids, and it is about some children getting on a bus. And you, it, emotionally, I felt, you know, really sad for those kids that were just sitting in that theater, minding their own business, and somebody come in there and do that like that. This is a well-educated guy. He's smart, but he's he was crazy, you know, and he just flipped out and lost it. And they're still investigating the motives. Apparently his apartment was booby-trapped uh, earlier today, this morning. They went through all that. It was triggered at the door, and there was some other stuff going on. And, and, and you can tune into your local news for that. Um, my whole take on this is um, more watch, uh, more watch, watch tactic, more more scrutiny on selling these guns and selling ammunition, uh, and particularly semi-automatic weapons. I mean, I, I don't know what part of the deer you're going to eat after you annihilate them with the semi-automatic weapon. Um, and, and, and just the constant, you know, every three to four months there's just another massacre, another man, another person has lost their mind. And, 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 and is killing other people uh, wherever he, you know, can do it. And 
I just want to uh, ask that everybody sort of reach into themselves and just sort of be, you know, uh, spiritual and, and be mindful of those families and the innocent children and just, you know, some kind of a silence. Uh, 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 here I'm talking shit. I'm about to do a minute of silence uh, for, those, for those people. And a moment of silence, one minute of silence on this on this podcast right now, uh, to 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 um, just acknowledge the pain and the and the hurt that these families. You know, which is why we got to be together. You know, we we live in a world that's pulverized with kind of. You know, you said, she said, whatever. Here, let me, let's do this minute. Here we go. A minute of silence for those in Colorado. And there you have it, a minute of silence. One minute we just came as, as I'm talking shit here for the, for the families and the love that is needed for those families in Colorado in uh, that incident that took place where a gunman went in with the regular crowd, propped the emergency door open, and then went back out to the vehicle and came through. I mean, he had to be back there. I'm surprised there's no cameras back there because... He came in with the regular group. I don't know if he was dressed in his gas mask and all of that when he came in with all the regular people to prop the door open. Uh, so security failed there. And, and just, you know, usually the emergency door sets off an alarm. So did he, like, case the joint and know that the emergency door wouldn't set off an alarm? I mean, usually on certain businesses... When the alarm do when the when the emergency door is tampered with, there's an alarm that goes off. So I'm surprised that that didn't take place. And um, I'm just really grateful that he didn't kill more, and that 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 we're gonna mourn these losses. Um, there's got to be. Um, there was a can I'm sure there was a candlelight vigil, and uh, I'm I'm just gonna keep those families in prayer. And uh, I'm just uh, going to end it right there. I, I, um, I know that we have a lot of differences, and I'll go over some of those tomorrow. But today, today, we are our brother's keeper. We really are. We really are. I want to go out. I want to sing something. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of green, for purple mountains, majesty, of overfruited plain. America, America, God shed his grace on thee and crown thy gold with brotherhood from sea to shining. Say, 
And I'm gonna end it right there. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Brighter days are coming. And you know what that means. It's always time to talk that shit. I'm DeAndre Moore. This is a black man. A hand seduction plan. Make sure you're praying. Make sure you're staying around. We got some more stuff coming for you. I'll see you tomorrow. And I appreciate you tuning in.